our dear students. In this difficult time, we should become more responsible for our health. So, please, stay at home. But it doesn't mean that we shouldn't study and get new knowledges. We must use all opportunities that the world gives us to be competent in our hard profession. After one week of using Google Classroom, you still have a lot of questions. So our department, Propedeptics of Internal Medicine and Physical Rehabilitation, decided to create this video to show you how to use this application. So let's start. To get access to the Google Classroom, first of all, we should have a Google account. I have it. I'm opening my Gmail. In the right corner, you can see nine dots. Click here. Here we can search to the classroom. We choose it. In Google Classroom, uh, we need uh, to get access uh, to our course. Uh, we click on the plus uh, and uh, click join the class. Here we enter the code. Code can you can ask uh, from your teacher. Uh, another way to get access uh, to the Google Classroom uh, is to get invitation from your teacher. We are coming back to the Gmail. I have here my invitation. I open it and going down the link. So I click to join. Tabs as stream, classwork and people. In the stream you will see some news. Uh, for example, when teacher will uh, write you uh, something or add some materials. Also, you can leave here some comments to your classmates or to your teacher. Also, you can comment uh, the posts that teacher give you and uh, some and add some news or add some materials, for example, add some presentation or so on. In the second tab, we have classroom, classwork. In the classwork, you can see what teacher posted to you. It can be materials and it can be some tasks. In materials uh, will be some documents, some PDF files, uh, some PPT, uh, then that you can view uh, and uh, study. Then we have uh, such link uh, as a test. Let's open it and uh, try to do. So it's like very simple test. Yes, here you need uh, to write your uh, email address in Gmail. For sure. Then you need to write your group number, your name and your surname. And only after that you can go and do your test. Let's answer the questions. You know 1 plus 1 is 2, it's 36 and it's 9. Yes, and then you click to submit. You see that the answers are submitted and you need to wait to your mark. You can open your assignment. Uh, we are going back to our work, yes, and uh, here you see that the test was turned in. So, how your teacher will know that you pass the test? You are going to the tab classwork, yes, you open it like here uh, 
and then we see that I already submitted but sometimes you are not clicking uh, view a segment and then you need uh, to push here the button as marked as done then your teacher will see that you passed the test in tab people you can see who is your teacher in this class and uh, other students in this classroom. If we are talking about the comments, you can comment, uh, for example, comment the test, and you want that this comment should be private, so you commented it here in the private comments in the, your work. If you want to comment, for example, the test, and you want that all your classmates will see it, you comment it here, it's like class comments. So remember it when you will uh, comment something from your teacher. So in class comments everyone will see it, in private comments only teacher will see it. Uh, if you comment it in the stream, everyone will see it. If you will do everything correct, then you will not have any questions from your teacher and you will be uh, able to do your next test and get your mark for your knowledges. So, that is all that I want to tell you. Have a nice day, study hard, be competent in your profession.